All righty then, hold on to your gadgets. After today's tech update, we've got a call from my weekend show, The Kim Commando Show, that's just too good to skip. Apple stands accused of basically stealing the tech the Apple Watch uses to measure your body's vital blood oxygen levels. That particular Apple Watch feature has been disabled. But now, good news for both Apple and heart patients worldwide. I'm Kim Commando, brought to you by Dell. For today's best deals on computer and office hardware, visit dell.com slash deals. Millions of Americans have been diagnosed with an irregular heartbeat called atrial fibrillation, or AFib. Millions more have it, but they don't know it. AFib increases the risk of stroke and even death. From the beginning, Apple claimed its watch can detect if you're experiencing AFib, and if so, it can send your electrocardiogram to your doctor. Until now, it's only been a marketing point. The FDA just gave the green light for clinical trials to see just how good the Apple Watch really is. For now, if the watch says that you have it, trust the watch and contact your doctor. Your medical records are probably for sale on the dark web. That's just one topic I covered last week in my free newsletter at getkim.com. All right, just as I promised, here's a fantastic call from my show that you've got to hear. Diane in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Hi there, Diane. Hi, Kim. <clears throat> this is so exciting to get to be on a national radio show. Oh, you know what? Maybe I, you, you're going to get discovered and you're going to be like a Hollywood movie star now. Um, that's what I'm hoping. I, I tried to call in before, but with no success. So, boy, this is, I, maybe I should go to the, the track or something <laughs> you know, after this. <laughs> I, I feel like I, I know you already since I... You send me your pers- my personal emails daily that for my tech info, and then I, 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 our uh, paper, our local paper carries you sometime, and then I read you in the USA Today. So oh, well, that's I feel like we we already have a bond. Well, you know what's funny is that I I went to um, I had we had a gathering at the church this past week, and. Um, I was sitting at a table with some people who were new to the church and new to, you know, coming to, into this type of community. And so this, this, I was talking to um, one of the pastors and my husband was talking to this woman and this woman, Pat was her name. And, and then Pat went after Barry leaves. She looks at me and she goes, Oh my gosh, you're like the Kim commando. <laughs> And, you know that, Kim. Huh? Yeah, and I said, "Yeah, I hope it's all good." She said, "You know, it's funny." She said, "We were, uh, she was playing bridge with a whole bunch of people, and they said that they were going to cancel the local Arizona Republic newspaper, but the only reason why they wanted to keep it was because of my column in the paper every week." They said that was the only thing worth reading. I was like, "Tell them they can go to the website, okay?" So <laughs> they can do well, that. That was that was quite a recommendation, though. <laughs> That's true. Well, thank you. So, what's going on with you? Well, I need a recommendation for the cheapest option for home internet in a rural area that that there's no internet service available. Oh, and uh, I I took your recommendation for home security because we live in a very high crime, uh, poverty, high unemployment area. Okay. But I got the Simply Safe, and I just love it. But I can't connect the camera or the water sensors, of course, without Internet. Yeah. And uh, this this is our farm. We raise hay. My parents built this house 63 years ago, so I still get to live in my childhood <laughs> home. God bless. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Now, it, it, you know, when, it when, really is. Now, you know that there you don't have a lot of options, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> that's 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 the help part. I yeah. Mean. So you know, uh, you know, T-Mobile is running is rolling out their gateway internet, uh, but it's not available. I looked already. It's not available where you are in Broken Arrow. Um, so, but you can get on the list for to say when it's going to be there. I mean, if you can use your cell phone, you can use it as a hotspot. But then you get into data overage and things. So when you start looking at really rural communities. And if you want to have internet access, uh, you're really only two options are Viasat and HughesNet, which is satellite. And you know they they do get they do get pricey, unfortunately. I mean, you're looking at at least sixty bucks a month. Now, hopefully, at some point, we have Elon Musk Starlink that's going to come down and just blanket internet access throughout the entire globe. Um, but again, that's going to be a hundred dollars a month, and then the equipment is five hundred. So. 
you know, the, the, the positive is, is that, that you get to live in the house that you grew up in. <laughs> okay. The, the downside is, is that you may not have the fastest internet connection known to man. Uh, so you, that's where you're really looking at different satellite packages, like, you know, maybe even a direct TV, uh, Viasat or HughesNet. And maybe someday, you know, T-Mobile, they, they have the most connections, hotspot connections as gateway throughout the country right now. And hopefully they'll be getting to more and more homes. And so you might want to go to their website and just fill out that form because then they'll alert you, Diane, when they actually get inside your community. Oh, big hugs for listening. Now, if you have a tech pickle that you want me to sort out, head over to commando.com and hit that email Kim button. I sift through every single email you send my way. Now, if you want the lowdown on the digital world every single day in your inbox, head over to getkim.com and just sign up for my free daily newsletter. You're going to love it.